description of the hidden features of Chrome, which are only available with a Pro or a Tim license. First thing we're going to do is to open a our ROM file, which is going to be a stock JDM330. Then we're checking our settings to make sure we got them right. Normally we would set our RTP, real-time programming hardware, uh, which I normally use the Romulator. Then we have our tuna com settings, which is used for data logging purposes. You set your data logging connection settings over here. And we have our logging settings, where you can set your OG sensor. For just for this demonstration, we will be using stock narrowband sensor. And over here is our lambda recording conditions, which is which determines when our lambda logger will take effect. Basically, we have a minimum throttle, minimum lambda, and the maximum lambda readings, as well as the average sample size, which will determine how how much uh, smoothing to apply and we have this check checkbox which uh, allows us to discard uh, readings on throttle let off so basically we'll only be recording while we are at uh, increasing the throttle position or basically when we're pressing the gas pedal and under the tuner tab, we have our auto-tuning conditions. Uh, the minimum fuel adjustment uh, determines what is the minimum amount of a uh, fuel, of dif a minimum difference from our target to our actual recorded, and how much changes to apply. And our maximum fuel adjustment is uh, basically the maximum amount of changes we can apply and this checkbox right here basically will allow us to clear all our uh, the lambda logger after we do a, an auto tune and this other checkbox apply map smoothing uh, will use the map smoothing tool and apply map smoothing after we have performed an auto tune under the live auto tuning conditions, I, I mean, uh, group box, we have the minimum sample count, which is the minimum number of recordings we have to have before uh, live auto tuning takes effect, and also the minimum interval, which is the minimum amount of time before auto tuning will take effect. And we're just going to click OK. Now, first thing we're going to do is turn on the RTP. Normally, this is what we would do. But since we're not connected, uh, I'm just going to leave it on. Uh, we would want to check the real time update button so that any changes we make will be updated right away into the ECU. But since we're not connected, I'll just leave that off. The next thing is the tuner toolbar, which is this one on the bottom right here. Basically, this toolbar controls all the tuner features that are available with Chrome. Since we are not connected, I will just open a previously recorded file. And as you can see, on our live view panel, we get uh, our engine parameters, which is engine speed, vehicle speed, manifold pressure, PPS, injector duration. And note that uh, on our duty cycle, there's a color scheme where it will turn red once we get closer to our 85%. And anything higher is just completely red. We have 
also our lambda recordings, which is also color uh, oriented. You could, by the way, switch this to EF ratio if you're more comfortable with that. But since I I use lambda, I'll switch that back. On the table, you also notice that we do have map tracing, which uh, allows us to see where where we are in a particular table, which which is the current cell in the table we are using. And then let's get back to this one, which is our target lambda setting tables. Uh, if you've ever used Chrome before, you'll notice that there is this target lambda tables over here, but probably didn't quite know what to use it for. Well, its main use is basically to work in conjunction with this one, which is our lambda recorder which records the lambda readings at a, a part at a given row and column of the table and then we, with some simple formulas we could get the difference from our target to our actual readings and using this table we can basically auto-tune our field maps. You just simply select the table that you the field tables that you want to auto tune. We have the low cam field table and the high cam field tables. And we just one click of auto adjust. We have these values taking effect. If you had this checkbox selected, what would normally happen is the map smoothing tool is applied uh, to the whole map, which would end up something like this, where clearly, compared to the previous one, it is much more smoother. Now, if you're not the type of person to rely on a software alone and you think you'd probably do a better job than the, the algorithm being used on with the auto tuning, then basically you could just select the area you want to change and click this adjust selection button and you will also get some information about that selection you just selected um, in regards to the actual recorded lambda values so we here we have the average lambda reading for that selection the average difference and the recommended adjustments by the auto tuning engine of Chrome. Now, if you want to change it yourself, you could still simply just se select that one, press the number you want to use, and press the. If you want to see those changes, you can. go through our undo and redo history and that's it